One of the reasons why I'm doing this interview, it might not be content you subscribe to in this group because it's about affiliate marketing, um, Chrome extensions, group growth. I, as a demonstration for my people that you can reach out and talk and connect with these people that maybe you've seen on websites and maybe you idle, uh, you've been following their journey for a long time, you can connect with them by just going to their website, clicking on contact, and then that's what we did live. And his team got back to the same day with a yes, and here we are today. <laughs> so if you are seeing this right now, let me know, hashtag live in the comments. And if you are um, watching the replay, then hashtag replay. All right, who here knows who John Lee Dumas is? Who here listens to his podcast, Entrepreneur on Fire? Um, and let me know in the comments if you follow him at all. This is a super last minute type of event. So if you have a question for him, let me know, like some unorthodox question. Uh, I do have questions that I'm going to ask him, which are the questions that I posted earlier. Hey, hello. This is John Lee Dumas. John Lee Dumas in the house. Yes, in the house. And, uh, and hello. So guys, if you are here live, hashtag live, uh, post in the comments, and um, I'm going to be asking John a series of questions, kind of some questions he already has that his team kind of gave me as optional points. But um, welcome, John. I know we only have 15 minutes here, so I'm going to just jump right on into it. So you guys, some of you know me as um, the founder of Group Convert, Chrome extension that lets you collect emails from Facebook groups ethically. And today we have John Lee Dumas in the house, and he's going to talk about uh, how to, uh, mostly the common path to uncommon success. He has a book coming out, and that's why, yay, and you can pre-order the book. Uh, so let me, I'm going to just <laughs> dive on into it. So John, uh, for those of my audience who don't know who you are by now, like they're living under a rock, um, uh, please let us know. Actually, let me let, tell us very quickly, how did you get into this crazy online space? And you're pretty much a veteran by now. So <laughs> let's. Let well, Kim, know. thank you so much for letting me on here. I'm, I'm enjoying the conversation already. It's only going to get better from here, I promise. But yeah, I've been uh, rock and rolling for about a decade now. Uh, back in 2012, I had this crazy idea to launch the first daily podcast interviewing entrepreneurs called Entrepreneurs on Fire. Since then, I've interviewed over 3,000 of the world's most successful entrepreneurs, have over 100 million listens to date, over 1.4 million monthly listens. And I'm just getting started, Kim. I'm just getting started. Yeah, I was surprised that uh, we got an interview with you, but that's really cool. Uh well, I'm in book promotion mode right now. So I'm saying yes to a lot of things. And, you know, I know you're doing some great things in the world as well. So thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, uh, we're helping people earn an extra five to six figures per month with their Facebook groups. Um, by applying uh, organic strategies and pitching their program. So and let me break in here for one second, actually, because you're doing exactly what I teach people to do in the book. It's find a specific niche where you can become the best solution to a real problem. Now, what's a real problem? How to make money from your Facebook group, how to like actually turn those people that are in your Facebook group into email leads, into real leads, into actual revenue generation. Like this is a real problem that Kim's identified and now she's becoming the best solution to that real problem. And that's why you're winning Kim. So congratulations. No, oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, we have over 10,000 subscribers, so it feels good. Uh, and yeah. congratulations for you. So I want to ask, um, so John, why are entrepreneurs failing? Is it because they don't really like find that one problem to solve? 
Um, why are they failing at such like a high percentage? It is that. It's number one, they're, they're not identifying their big idea. Like everybody has a big idea within them. Like it's there, it's their zone of fire. That big idea is somewhere within you. If you just sit down and you get introspective for a second, and of course, you follow the roadmap, step one, chapter one, identify your big idea. We take you through the exercise and you get to identify what your zone of fire is, what you're meant to do in this world. And then within that, you discover your niche. That's step two. Like that is step two where you're like actually saying, okay, here's my big idea. Like your big idea was to help people make five or six more, you know, um, five or six more figures a year with their business. A month, a month. A month with their business. Yeah. Even better. I'll, I'll take another six figures per month. Thank you. <laughs> and guess what? That was your big idea. But now like, what was the niche that you identified? It was the Facebook group and generating revenue from that Facebook group, converting people into email subscribers from that Facebook group. So that's where people are feeling. They're just number one, not identifying their own big idea. And then number two, they're not discovering the niche within that is going to allow them to make a name for themselves and not just be some pale, weak imitation of some other entrepreneur. Mm, yeah, uh, identifying a niche and going for that. All right, so, um, and you have a 17-step roadmap. What's your favorite step in your 17-step roadmap? So listen, every step is important because let me just step back for a second and I will give you my favorite one, but I want to step back and say, listen, this is the common path to uncommon success. This is a culmination of the 3000 interviews I've done with the world's most successful entrepreneurs. So this book is not from my brain. It's not from my genius. This is 3000 entrepreneurs combined to make the genius in this book this book is a 17 step roadmap to financial freedom and fulfillment because I was able to identify the 17 core foundational principles that all entrepreneurs share with each other and put it into this book. And of those 17 steps, if I'm being honest, Kim, yes, be honest. Step, step seven, chapter seven. This book is 71,000 words, 273 pages. Step seven alone, just step seven. 13,500 words in this one chapter, 13,500 words in one chapter. It's my favorite chapter, design your content production plan. If you have an amazing content production plan, you will win. If your content production plan is terrible, which most of yours are, which is okay, because mine used to be terrible too, you're not going to win at the levels you want to win. You're not going to achieve financial freedom and fulfillment. You're not going to get there to uncommon success. So dive into this book. It's hard work. It's 17 steps. Chapter seven alone is 13,500 words. Follow the process to design your content production plan to get it amazing, which I give you a step-by-step -step process to do, and then you'll be on your way. All right, a content plan. And did you make that deliberate chapter seven? <laughs> lucky it number was seven. <laughs> deliberate because it's lucky number seven, critical step number seven. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, and so what is one thing that you normally don't share with, um, and maybe by now since you've done over 3,000 interviews, you shared a lot. Uh, what is something that people wouldn't, like know about you unless they dive Ooh. really deep into your world. How about this? I want a car on the price is right. No way. Eh? What type of car? A Ford Fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> what year? This will date you. <laughs> I think it was like 2011. It was a long time ago. But if you go to my about me page, I post a video there of me winning a car on the price is right. Uh -huh. And what was the price that you, um, Oh, so you, you guessed all the prices and, and you won. Okay, cool. But I got all the prices wrong <laughs> until I had to putt to win the car and I won. Cool. Like Did golf. you have that car? Did you auction it off? I auctioned it off. I auctioned it off. I didn't want it. <laughs> all right. Um, and can you share some details about your book launch? Um, uh, before that, like what what is it? 
you know, the book is different than, I, I feel like whenever someone writes a book, uh, it's always gonna be their own story. And that's what makes it like super unique. Um, what audience would your book, uh, what type of person would your book touch the most? Is it like beginner entrepreneurs, um, middle, advanced? These are for entrepreneurs at the beginning to the middle stages of their journey. Because what you need to do is say either A, I'm at the, I'm at the beginning of my journey. Awesome. Start at step one and go all the way through step 17. Or I'm at the middle part of my journey. Okay, sit down, identify what step you're on, then go back to step one and go through to step 17. Because believe me, you've done things wrong in the first however many steps you think you are along in your process that you need to improve upon to get to the strong foundation to go through all the way to 17 steps. Mm, and as a, and any advice for some of my audience are affiliate marketers. Some of them are uh, creating little tiny simple software. Um, that's what I teach. Uh, as a software CEO uh, and you interviewing so many people, what kind of advice uh, maybe stemming from your book or yourself would you give to someone who's doing, who's creating passive income with their own simple software and how can they scale it? So you always need to be asking the question, what does my customer need next? So think about that. When you have that simple solution software, whatever that might be, that's awesome. And once that's up and running and it's doing its thing, you've got to sit down and say, okay, now that I've provided that solution to my audience, What's the next thing that they're going to complain about? What's the next thing that they're going to need? What's the next thing that I can create in their step to success? Mm. Yeah, the problem solution, problem solution kind of step ladder. Yeah, because listen, when you're solving a problem, there's another problem that's going to pop up after that. Higher levels, higher devils. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so, um, I, I want to ask you, I know we only have like a few minutes left. Uh, one, I'm trying, trying to squeeze in as many questions as I squeeze can. Squeeze in, girl. Um, if you were to start over, what would you do? If you if you lost everything, this is like a Russell Brunson kind of question. If you yeah. were to start over, you lost everything, but you know everything you know now. Yeah. Everyone Listen. you've interviewed with your podcasting. This is, so this is a cheat answer, but I honestly would go through this 17-step process step by step. Because listen, step one, I would actually sit down and say, like, what is my big idea now? Now that I've lost everything with my podcast and I want to start fresh and do a clean slate, what is my next big idea? And like, I really don't know what the answer to that is. Like, what is my big idea? I would go through this process to actually identify my big idea. And then I will continue to go through that process. Because what a lot of people don't understand is they're like, you know, I'm just going to do something that I see other people making money doing. Well, you're never going to be a success there because there has to also be passion and excitement and enthusiasm with what you're doing if you're going to be a long-term success. So I would make sure that I understood that that process had to be in place. Cool. And sorry about the knocking. I'm actually in Mexico uh, for a little bit. Mexico! Tulum. <laughs> Tulum is like this entrepreneurial hub. I'm really is. Tulum. Yes. Um, and uh, so, oh, and you sent, uh, what is it? Some of my friends actually were like, what? You're interviewing John Lee Dumas. How do I get myself on his podcast? Is there like a long filtering list? Is it... Yeah, we get about 400 requests per month of people to be on our show. Um, and we have an application process that anybody can check out at eofire.com slash guest. Okay, eofire.com slash guest. And what is something you would like to say that you don't normally say? Um, I know you're going through lots of interviews right now, and some of the questions are the same. Um Share me something that you wouldn't normally say during. Anything. Well, I share everything. I mean, you know, one thing that we've been doing for 91 months in a row is publishing our monthly income reports. I mean, I share it all. EOFire.com slash income. You can see all the money we made over the past 91 months um, because we just are an open book. We like to share our successes, our failures, all that jazz. Um, but if anybody is listening out there that's ever seen a Bollywood movie, 
something I'll share with you that I don't share very often. I was featured in a Bollywood movie when I was younger. Ooh, what movie? What movie is it called? It's called Yuv Raj. And I got to kiss Katrina Kaif, who's a very famous actress in India. Your life is so colorful, John. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that would be the end of this uh, of this interview. We only have 15 minutes with John, and um, I really just wanted to ask him unorthodox questions or get some information from him as well. But thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. I know, John, you have to hop off. Thank you so much for uh, telling us about the 17 steps and your book. I'm really excited. And Uncommon yeah. success book .com. Uncommon success book .com. Great endorsements from Gary Vaynerchuk, Neil Patel, Eric Amandi, Seth Godin, Dory Clark. The first chapter is there for free. You can see a picture of me jumping in my pool here in Puerto Rico and then telling you more details about the book. I enjoyed chatting All right. today. All right. Bye. Okay, guys, that was the interview. Super fast. Um, he is on a book tour. So one of the things I want to share with you guys as a tip is if you do want to talk to people, find them in the middle of their book tour and they will say yes. So, uh, you know, you don't necessarily have to be someone huge um, or well known, but you'll get to meet and talk to a bunch of people. And, um, and like beyond that, now you can say, hey, I interviewed John Lee Dumas. I've interviewed Pat Flynn. Who knows? <laughs> I've, I've actually met Pat Flynn live. But uh, this is also to show you guys that it's possible to, hey, Jerry. Yes, you are welcome. It's possible to go and connect with people that maybe you've been reading blogs from or you've been listening from. And maybe it sounds like they're far away to reach, but they're much closer than you think. So this is one way to do it. All right. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Oh, one last thing after his book promotion. Um, if you are around next week, we have a five day training where I teach you how to create passive income with your own simple software. It's free. It's five days. And um, if you want to be part of any of the VIP sessions, hashtag VIP below if you're watching the replay. And in the VIP sessions, I'll teach uh, what I do is I go a little bit more advanced, a little bit deeper in how you can actually own software um, so that it will increase your income, but not only income, it's influence as well. Today I spoke with a father who wanted to enroll. Um, into this world with his son because it's a cool project that a father and son can do together and uh, passive income with your own simple software is a journey that i wish i stepped into decades ago and it's only now only recent years that i did step into it and it's been a blast so i, I want to share that magic with you and also train you so Hashtag VIP if you want to be part of the VIP sessions we hold in the evening and the training will be every single morning for one hour at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. OK, OK, well, I'll see you all next week and have a wonderful day today. <laughs> Jerry's like, great job as usual, Kim Deng, right? Here's the thing. Here's the behind the scenes. I really didn't know what to ask him and he gave me questions to ask him. So um, when you're booking these people, you don't even need to come up with your own questions. They have it all set out for you. But I did ask him questions like, hey, what do you tell? What is one strange thing I don't know about you, you know, or most people don't know to spice it up. OK, have a great day. Bye, everyone. See you in my five day training. It's in a special Facebook group. So hashtag VIP or hashtag me to be included. Bye. Oh yeah. If you like that video, then you will love all the resources that I have over at kimcdang.com. That is K-M-C-D-A-N-G.com. There you will find all my courses, my 
extensions, all the offers that um, I have, as well as a lot of free resources if you are just getting started.